Yes, yeah, Andy, said it's been a great series so far. Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. One all, they've had a little bit of time to take stock, um, improve their fitness in some cases, not in others. Uh, joining us now, part of our top commentary team, we'll be bringing you that from 4 a.m. our time tomorrow on TalkSport and TalkSport 2, Harsha Bogley. Hi, Harsha. Hello, how are you? Yeah, we're good, good. thank you, we're good. Yeah, I just want to know, Harsha, I mean, we're loving the series over here and having not expected England, even under Ben Stokes and McCann, to do that well, but it's it's been really close. Are, are the Indian public really enjoying it too? Enormously so. I think there's an awareness that this series carries with it a little more responsibility than some others because there's genuinely three test cricket powers in world cricket these days, so they've got to play well. Uh, I think the tracks have been very good. I, I, I suspect England came in here thinking the ball's going to turn from the first morning. Maybe even the previous evening. They, they were so worked <laughs> up about the ball turning. But it's there have been good pitches. Rajkot is traditionally a very good pitch. Even if it gets a little dry, it'll be a little slow. But it'll still be a good pitch. So, yes, enormous excitement. It's interesting that because of the way Stokes and McCullum have approached it, everyone's talking about England and India have won more days. Yes. Yeah, it's true. But India have a better record on flat pitches. This is a really odd thing. I mean, the first pitch, the first test pitch did spin, spun quite a lot, and England won. The last pitch didn't spin that much, and they relied on Boomer, who's a wonderful bowler, and uh, they won that match reasonably easy. It's, it's interesting. Uh, if, for example, you go to England and there's an absolute green top, the overseas seamers become just as good. So you come to India and there's an Still, rank turn. It's a dust bowl, and suddenly Shoaib Bashir becomes a good bowler, and uh, the the other everyone becomes a good bowler. Rehan Ahmed becomes a good bowler. You prepare a flat deck, then the skillful spinners start to do even better. Mm -hmm. And I think India have realized that the best way to go about it is uh, to prepare a good Indian pitch, a pitch that will be a little slow, that'll turn a little bit, but that'll be good for batting. Rajkot's normally good for batting. Unless there is, I mean, there, there was just the odd game where 100 was difficult to get, but largely it's a good surface. Um, the rumour was, I remember he was delighted with this rumour, that Bumrah was going to be rested, but I rotated, cannot yeah. see that India doing that at 1-1. If they were ahead in the series, maybe that's different, but he's just not, too important for Not them. with the injuries to senior players, no, you think. And, and, I mean, you have to admire, as even as an opposition fan, what a wonderful bowler he is. It's interesting that he's learned his craft playing long form red ball cricket bowling overs and overs and overs and overs. These days, I, I, I don't get it. Maybe you do, Andy and Paul. People seem to want to bowl less. People <laughs> seem to want to bat less. People seem to want to prepare for cricket by playing golf. So there's, there's different <laughs> ways of there's different ways of doing it. But Bumrah's bowled a lot of overs. The reason Bumrah's playing in this game is that I, I think it's a good batting surface. On your good batting surface, you want your best bowlers. Maybe they'll go to Ranchi. They'll, they'll rest Bumrah. You'll get a you'll get a you'll more of a turner in Ranchi where his need will be felt a little bit less, but he's at the height of his bars. He's just got to stay fit because, I mean, I, I've been watching Bumrah since I first saw him play white ball cricket in 2013. He looked, I'll tell you what he looked like. If you remember Wizard of Oz, there was a tin man in the Wizard of Oz <laughs> who sort of came running in like, the, you know, like a tin man. Mm. But he's grown enormously. He, he's a very clever person. He's, he's an intelligent person. Mm. Uh, his, his mother's a headmistress, so maybe that's where it's come from. So he's, he's, he's just become a very, very good bowler. He's like a smiling assassin, though. I mean, he takes some bowlers, when they take a wicket, they go mad and they point at the batsman and they send him off. He just grins in this yeah. one. <laughs> you know, he's so happy that he's taken a wicket. And he, uh, the ball to Pope in the last game was yeah, just brilliant. so special. It will go down as, as, as one of the greatest deliveries you've seen. To rival, I think, or even surpass, an earlier one I saw, he bowled one just before lunch or just before tea, Sean Marsh in Australia. And Marsh must have finished playing two shots before the ball came to him. It just sort of hung in the air and hung in the air and slipped under the bat and hit the stumps. You see, Bumrah brings great elements of T20 cricket to fast bowling in that he's perfectly happy to bowl slow ones. He's perfectly happy to bowl, you know, a, a slow bouncer, for example, which is something that comes in from T20 cricket. So he's, he's, uh, he's fabulous to watch. But also he's playing in this side because India is not very certain of their batting. The other change India are likely to go in with is a change in keeper, not because the new keeper is a better keeper, but because he's got a better batting record. Hmm.
Oh, that's interesting. That's right. Yeah, Barrett, they may they may drop him. They, they, um, um, there's another player that's been suggested might uh, might play. Safraz Khan at Harsha. What do we know about him? Middle order batsman. What we know about him is, you know, they often say it's not enough to knock at the door of the selectors. You just break the door down. And over the last two years in first class cricket, that's exactly what he's done. He's just broken the door down. He's averaging 70, 80 in first class cricket. That's down a little bit. That's interesting because most players, when they play first class cricket, they bat up the order compared to where they're playing in test cricket. So, for example, you're playing number six in test cricket, you bat number four for your side. But he likes batting at five, which is perfect because Patidar goes in at four, Sadfaraz bats at five. And if, if Jadeja plays, that, that, that shows up the batting because Rohit Sharma's got 56 tests, which is more almost double of what everyone else has played put together. We uh, must respect. Mm, sorry, Paul. We sorry. must respect Virat Kohli's decision. Of course, we do. But there is a lot of intrigue over here about why. Yeah. Why? I mean, it's none of our business. We shouldn't have to know. But there, it just is, isn't there? About why this great player isn't playing in the series. And really, in a country like India, which is so cricket mm. mad, it's hard to believe that they've still been able to kind of keep that a secret. There's there's two Virat Kohlis. There's there's one who's this very in your face. Talks hard, comes hard at you. This this player who represents the new India. You meet young Indian business people, and they're like Virat Kohli. They come hard. They're ambitious. Mm. They work very hard. There's the other Virat Kohli, who's a soft, gentle family person. And obviously, there's something happening in his life. And I'm so happy that social media in India has respected it. Normally, you see social media, and they're searching for as much mm. scandal as you can get. But in, India's respected that. So. And 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 I and I think that's good. It's it's a very high profile couple. It's a very Instagram couple. She's uh, Anushka has been in many movies as well. So I, I'm I'm overjoyed that India's uh, allowed it to stay under wraps. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And, and finally, landmarks for a couple of players potentially in this mm-hmm. in this test. I mean, ben Stokes, we know it's his hundredth test, which we've been talking about. But R Ashwin could be on for his five hundredth test wicket as well, Harsha. Isn't, isn't that brilliant? Here's, here's a player we've spent, much like Anil Kumble, all our lives talking about what he cannot do. And he just keeps taking wickets. 500 is a lot of wickets. Only two off spinners have got 500 wickets. Nathan Lyon, who's played a few more test matches and is just above him in the queue, 517. And, and Morley, who was a phenomenon in himself. So we just let Morley and players like Morley and Vaughan, you put them aside. It's been a fabulous career. He's 37 now. I don't know how much longer his legs will carry him. But he's he's a thinking cricketer. He, he's almost, I, I know I said that about Bumrah, he, he's almost an academic. He, if he's not playing, he's sitting and thinking, should I spin the ball this way or should I spin the ball that way on this track? What is it likely to do? He'll spend hours watching Ollie Pope bat and Ben Stokes bat. So he, he's, that kind of, he's that kind of spin ball. I'm overjoyed for him. He'll, he'll play his 100th test match as well in Dharamshala. But I think Johnny Bestow plays his hundreds too. Yeah. So there's there's a few landmarks coming. Yeah. Brilliant. We look Thank forward to it, Harshik. Uh, we'll hear from you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Harshik Bogle there, mm. one of our commentary team to bring you the third test in Rajkot between India and England. As we said, 4 a.m. it starts and it's on TalkSport and TalkSport 2. Um, from 6, when uh, mm. Alan and the gang take over for breakfast, it will just be TalkSport 2 only. But if you've downloaded the app, which is very easy, just, um, switch, between just switch between the two and stick with the cricket or stick with Alan, whatever you prefer. But we'll keep you updated and we'll be reflecting on day one tomorrow. we win the toss and bat. It's yeah, that would be good. It sounds like a very good wicket, doesn't it, for mm. batting. So it looks like we're going to see a lot of runs. So, uh, yeah, we'll be decent to post a total. But... Uh, We'll bring you that tomorrow, uh, live and exclusive on TalkSport and TalkSport 2.